The film begins with a young woman in her 20s navigating the city streets alone at night. As she walks through the urban landscape, a missing person poster catches our attention, pasted on a wall. Moving through an alleyway, a man approaches her from behind, inquiring about a dropped wallet. Despite her denial and attempt to quicken her pace, the man pursues and seizes her. In the struggle that follows, he overpowers her, attempting to force himself upon her. Suddenly, a second woman named Lacey intervenes, launching a counterattack against the assailant. She urges the initially targeted woman to flee. The scene concludes with the man's agonized screams as Lacey inflicts a brutal retribution. The following morning, Detective Charlie Godfrey arrives at the office, albeit tardy. His prolonged dedication to a human trafficking case has taken a toll on his sleep. Despite having identified strong suspects, Charlie has been unable to make any arrests. He appears to be the sole individual truly invested in resolving the case, highlighting his commitment amid a seemingly indifferent environment. Persisting where others had given up, Charlie leaves work early in pursuit of a lead related to missing women. In a factory district, he spots Tom, a suspect, passing by. Tom enters a building, and as Charlie observes, he witnesses Tom engaging in disturbing activities, taking pictures. Meanwhile, Lacey, asleep in the nearby alley, is awakened by her friend Joe. Joe delivers a crucial message to Lacey, revealing the elusive man's presence within the building. With swift determination, Lacey breaches the door's lock and barges in. Inside, a harrowing sight unfolds as Tom engages in a sadistic game of Russian roulette, live-streaming the torment of an innocent dog on the dark web for illicit bets. The atmosphere thickens with tension as the grotesque spectacle plays out. In a moment of high stakes, Tom aims at the defenseless dog, only to be abruptly halted by Lacey's unexpected assault. Despite Tom firing at her head, Lacey resiliently deflects the threat and counterattacks with relentless force. Employing her superhuman strength, she dispatches Tom using a brutal method, thrusting her hands through his eyes until they reach his brain. Lacey, beyond being physically formidable, possesses extraordinary abilities, including surviving gunshot wounds and swiftly recovering from injuries. Simultaneously, Jerry, witnessing Tom's demise, makes a hasty retreat to summon reinforcements. Seizing the opportunity, Lacey incapacitates Jerry by ruthlessly severing his fingers, further establishing her dominance in this dark and intense confrontation. Charlie, who observed Lacey entering and leaving the scene, attempts to engage her in conversation, but she ignores him. Intrigued, Charlie enters the building, eavesdropping on Tom's account of Lacey's actions to his boss, Terran, witnessing the aftermath firsthand. In the dimly lit alley, Lacey nonchalantly snacks on Tom's fingers as if they were chips. A mysterious figure briefly observes her, vanishing when she notices. Later that night, Charlie ponders the bizarre scene in his apartment, struggling to reconcile Lacey's apparent invulnerability after sustaining a headshot. Aware that sharing this revelation at the precinct would be futile, he keeps it to himself. Meanwhile, Taryn confers with his sister and crime partner, Meredith, revealing the live stream of Lacey's brutal act. Taryn envisions profiting by selling Lacey to the highest bidder, leveraging Meredith's involvement in the human trafficking business. However, Meredith doubts Lacey's survival from the gunshot and redirects Taryn's focus to the six new girls she recently acquired. The next morning, Charlie returns to the alleyway, his curiosity undiminished. Approaching Lacey, Charlie expresses a desire for conversation, leading them to her favorite diner. Curiosity guiding his inquiry, he questions her motive behind consuming Tom's fingers. Lacey nonchalantly reveals her preference for the taste of bone marrow and the practicality of finger consumption. Perturbed yet intrigued, Charlie presses on, questioning her about Tom's demise. Lacey discloses that she initially targeted Taryn, but Tom's imminent harm to a dog prompted her intervention. Charlie, grappling with suspicions surrounding Taryn and his sister in the human trafficking case, proposes an alliance. Offering Lacey a spare apartment, he suggests she live there, preserving her food until needed. Entrusting her with pictures of his suspects, Charlie implores Lacey to eliminate them, aligning their interests in a precarious collaboration. Losing faith in apprehending the criminals through conventional means, Charlie strikes a deal with Lacey, providing her a place to stay in exchange for eliminating the targets. Agreeing to the arrangement, Lacey visits Paul's apartment later that day. Upon Paul's door opening, she swiftly attacks, snapping his neck. Paul's friend makes a desperate attempt to ambush Lacey, repeatedly stabbing her in the process. Unfazed by the assault, Lacey effortlessly overpowers him. Upon entering, she finds Suey handcuffed, and uncertain about the next steps, decides to contact Charlie for guidance. Following Charlie's advice, 
Lacey releases Sui and returns home. Despite the initial terror stemming from witnessing Lacey endure multiple stabbings, Sui undergoes a surprising transformation into a congenial interrogator. Despite Lacey's irritation, she reluctantly provides Sui with a contact and concludes the encounter. Charlie directs Sui to leave, but her persistence leads her to tail Lacey to a diner, where the barrage of questions continues. Intrigued, Sui probes whether Lacey is a superhero, to which Lacey denies the label, revealing instead that she possesses centuries-old powers, rendering her virtually immortal. The unfolding events weave a complex tapestry of mystery and unearth Lacey's extraordinary capabilities in the face of danger. However, she confides in two mysterious wounds on her back, present throughout her existence, shrouded in mystery. After dinner, Susie, lacking a place to stay, accompanies Lacey back to her apartment. During Susie's bathroom break, Lacey is disturbed by mysterious noises and the reappearance of the enigmatic shadowy figure. Alarmed, Lacey demands Susie's immediate departure. Yet, upon returning from the shower, she discovers Susie peacefully asleep on her couch. Meanwhile, Charlie arrives at the apartment to sanitize the crime scene. Simultaneously, Taryn, in pursuit of his agenda, crosses paths with Charlie, setting the stage for an unforeseen clash of interests. In a coincidental encounter, Charlie and Paul cross paths while checking on each other. A struggle ensues as Charlie attempts to reach for his gun, only to be thwarted by Taryn, who tackles him. Regaining consciousness, Charlie finds himself tied to a chair in the criminal's hideout. Meredith, the criminal mastermind, greets him and impulsively begins confessing to her myriad crimes. Recognizing Charlie as a detective, she probes whether his pursuit is driven by the disappearance of his daughter two decades ago. To Meredith's surprise, Charlie unveils the truth. His daughter wasn't kidnapped, but had run away. He discloses that he now knows her whereabouts, but is apprehensive about reaching out. Clarifying his mission, Charlie asserts that he's after them for their abduction and mistreatment of young women. Frustrated by the lack of progress, Meredith calls in Taryn, leaving Charlie bound and awaiting an uncertain fate. In a dimly lit room, Taryn unveils his array of torture tools, pressing Charlie for information on Lacey's whereabouts. The next morning, Lacey grapples with unsettling dreams, awakening with a primal hunger. She spots Susie, asleep before her, and battles inner demons tempting her to harm. Resisting the urge, Lacey flees her apartment, only to encounter Taryn and his accomplice, Dan, lying in wait. Unfazed by Taryn's initial assault, Lacey taunts him to hit her again. Surprisingly, she offers peaceful cooperation if he seeks to kidnap her. Taryn, skeptical, strikes her once more with a baseball bat, rendering her unconscious. He and Dan haul the surprisingly heavy Lacey into their van, departing with her. Unbeknownst to them, Susie witnesses the entire harrowing scene unfold. Peering through the apartment window, Susie senses something amiss and attempts to contact Charlie. With no response, she heads to the police station, seeking information. Speaking to Janice, a close friend and receptionist of Charlie's, Susie learns of his termination for absenteeism. The police captain dismisses Susie, but before leaving, Janice discreetly invites her to Charlie's old office. In private, Susie confides in Janice, expressing her concern for Charlie and sharing the pictures from the case file. Janice recognizes Terence and discloses Charlie's pursuit of him. She provides Susie with the location, a parking lot in the factory district. Meanwhile, Lacey regains consciousness, bound with multiple chains, and Terence, aware of her strength, takes precautions in his ominous preparations. Upstairs, Meredith hosts a party for potential buyers, instructing Terence to present Lacey at the opportune moment. Excited about experimenting on Lacey before the festivities, Terence unveils his torture tools, inflicting slow and deliberate pain on her. Susie, arriving at the building, encounters a doorman allowing only party-listed guests. Quick on her feet, she claims friendship with Taryn and Meredith, gaining access and covertly swiping the doorman's keycard during a search. Amidst the gathering of buyers, Susie blends in seamlessly. Observing Dan heading downstairs, she discreetly follows him, discovering the location where Charlie is captive. Patiently awaiting his departure, Susie unchains Charlie, setting the stage for a covert plan to rescue Lacey and thwart the malevolent proceedings. Charlie proceeds to the room where Lacey is being tortured, and Susie, opening the door, calls out Lacey's name. Taryn instructs Dan to keep an eye on Lacey as he pursues Susie. However, Taryn's exit leads to an ambush by Charlie and Susie, who attempt to subdue him. Simultaneously, Lacey, sensing her friends in peril, breaks free from her chains and extracts the knives embedded in her body. In a desperate attempt to escape, Dan is met with a fatal end at Lacey's hands. Lacey then confronts Taryn, swiftly decapitating him. 
Ascending to the party upstairs, Lacey hurls Terran's severed head at Meredith's feet, plunging the gathering into panic. Bodyguards attempt to retaliate, but Lacey effortlessly dispatches them. Pursuing Meredith to the rooftop, Lacey confronts her in a showdown. Despite Meredith initially holding her ground, the tables turn as Lacey asserts her dominance. Martial artist, but Lacey's formidable strength prevails, leading to the fatal end of her opponent. Susie and Charlie soon reach the rooftop, where Susie embraces Lacey. Swiftly departing before the authorities arrive, they manage to escape. The following day, coincidentally meeting at the laundromat, Lacey and Charlie share a moment of cleaning their bloodied clothes. Charlie discloses his decision to visit his daughter, leading to their farewells. Returning home, Charlie encounters an intruder rifling through his belongings. Reacting instinctively, Charlie shoots the intruder in the head, only to find the bullet ineffective. The mysterious figure informs Charlie about an impending apocalypse and solicits his assistance in locating a person of importance. Meanwhile, Lacey remains in the laundromat, where the shadowy figure fully materializes. Inquisitive, Lacey questions the figure's identity and purpose, receiving only silence. Recollecting a vague memory, she seeks answers to the mysteries unfolding around her. As Lacey contemplates the enigmatic figure, she struggles to recall the face of the child from her past life. Expressing remorse for any wrongdoing, she implores the figure to release her from his haunting presence. The scene transitions to Lacey walking back to her apartment, where she discovers the dog she rescued from Tom patiently waiting for her. The film concludes with Lacey, now accompanied by the loyal canine, finding solace in the simple act of petting the dog and welcoming it into her home, marking a poignant end to her tumultuous journey.